Extraordinaire. Years in business too. Previous job. 24 years of experience in insurance. And in right. no other other jobs. Children. One. Annie. Pets. Cat named Cody. Hobbies and interests. Motorcycling. RV. Karaoke. Veterans causes. Political campaign. Years in that city. 14. You wallop. Burning desires. To see my daughter complete her bachelor's degree. That's fine. <laughs> uh, something no one knows about me. In the summer of 89, while driving through Italy, I accurately visualized a future automotive GPS named it Magellan. Wow. Key to success. Never stop talking about your passion. Something I, about in order to keep the fire burning from within. Oh, keep passionate. That's that word. Yeah. <laughs> Mark uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, you know, and I chose that that uh, little factoid about uh, something someone doesn't know about me because we have people traveling in Italy right now. Uh, no, just Robin. She's the only one that leaves. Robin, yes. And another good friend of mine just got back. And so that was 26 years ago. I was driving a 1971 Volkswagen bus. Super Beetle, that's correct. And the most technologically advanced um, device I had in there was my Sony AM-FM stereo cassette. That was the most technological, oh yeah, and my Michelin tires. That was it. It was the basic fundamentals of human transportation. In fact, it was so basic that when I was at the Austrian-German border, they looked at my car and they said, you don't make it. <laughs> I kid you not. The German, they were, they, they were nice people, but they looked at my car and they said, you don't make it here. I was headed to the Brenner Pass uh, in Austria, and that's a, that's a serious pass. I mean, it, it is a really serious, one of the most beautiful passes in the world. Um, so anyway, so I pictured that. I pictured a color display, and I, and I have a reason why I'm sharing this. Um, Showing a moving map as you're traveling, your 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 uh, GPS coordinates, your uh, what's coming ahead, uh, gas stations, restaurants. It would talk to you, distance to to your to your you know to your destination, how long it would take you there, and named it Magellan because it, of course we know who who he is. He was the first sailor that circumnavigated the world, so that was an easy name. So, I've always been a forward thinker. I'm, I have a lot of flaws. I'm not very smart in a lot of areas, but there are a few things I do know. And we love you. Aw, thank you. <laughs> uh, so, I tend to think forward. Back in 2000, in 2001, uh, some friends that owned the Ranger Airlifter newspapers, um, and I told them that one of these days, in the very near future, people are going to be surfing the web on their phones more than their computers. Mm. That was wow. another prediction. So now, it, this leads to your packet that I've given you. Um, if you open up your packet, the left side, there is a uh, set of papers on the left side. I'd like for you to look at real quick. It looks kind of familiar. The first page is actually a printout of my tops and gains profile from our BNI Connect website for my profile. Now, why did I do that? Well, because... In past uh, eight-minute speeches I've made, uh, I've talked about the difference between the 20th century and the 21st century business. The 20th century insurance agent and the 21st century um, insurance agent. Well, there's the 20th century B&I member and the 21st century B&I member. Yeah. And in particular, we're almost in 2016. So if you visualize this building right here, imagine traffic going on this street here and this street here. But you had a sign on just this side, but no sign on this side. Hmm. How much sense would that make? Half the sense. Half the sense. Right. <laughs> because half the traffic wouldn't even know who you were. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, this might be an apartment complex, for all they know. Because they're texting on their phones while they're driving. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you have a sign on both sides, that makes sense, right? Well, in networking and marketing, we've always had the one side where we shook hands. 
where we showed up at events, where we showed up at our weekly meetings. We always had that. But there's the other side, and that's the online. Dark side. Dark side. That side is the side. And I peruse the world, believe me. I look and I chat with b and I members throughout the world, believe it or not. Cambodia, England, say for, for, for example, because they kick our butts on the online. Cambodia! Not anymore. We have Mark. Yeah, so, but, you know, we, we have a ways to go. And I want, my burning desire is to bring this chapter, all of us, into a level of online marketing that's top in the B&I world. I want Dr. Ivan Meisner to know who we are. And we can. And I know how to get us there. If, and, and it's going to take a lot of steps. But I'm telling you, I just now... Just now, I, I shared Dr. Dr. Uh, Carl Smith's pumpkin on our BNI Facebook page, which is, if you look at the other set of papers, it should be, I believe, the very back page. It should look like this. It should, it should have BNI on the top. And the back of the papers on the right side, where it says impact. Yeah, you got it. So that's our public BNI Facebook page. And I and notice that there's 305 likes on the left side. And there's a circle where I drew that says invite your friends to like the page. Please do that. Please do that. Because we got the 305 because thanks to many of you who have done this already. And there are many more that, that want to do this. And we do want to do this because this is part of networking. This is We are networkers. And therefore, by us bringing together our collective online networks together on Facebook, we can market ourselves. I'm marketing his pumpkin. I did that while sitting here. I also marketed, once again, Bobby Lozier's King 5 on our page. That's 305 sets of eyes that are going to see that. Now... I'm skipping through quite a few things, but on our, on our handouts, but the back to our tops and gains profile. If you fill out your tops profile, it's going to show up on your BNI public profile, which looks like the next page behind it. The page behind it, which has my picture, <laughs> is your, now just imagine, you know, how small it would look without those five bullet points. You look like nothing. It's like the analogy of having a small sign versus a big sign. So let's we can increase our signage. I believe a couple of people in this group, Rick McKay is one of them, that's gotten people from a customer from our BNI profile. Finally, to the dovetail on uh, on uh, Anthony's credit card presentation, with farmers insurance uh, and other insurance companies, there are two, two coverages I want to point out, and that is data breach, data compromise coverage, and employment practices liability. So those are two things that we have to worry about in the 21st century now that maybe our forefathers didn't, uh, or at least as much, especially the data breach. So how do you get me a re referral? Because these are areas that, these are the highest frequency of claims. Thank you, folks. 